Hello classmates, what you're looking at here is a Colt 45. This is the gun that won the West. Okay, now you've seen this in TV shows, you've seen this in Westerns all our lives. Where the baby boomers, Westerns are very important. Now this is called a dual action Colt. Okay, you can pull the trigger. Or, you can set the, the trigger. You can pull back the trigger, and then it shoots and blows a hole in you big enough to look through. It's a 45 caliber gun, very powerful gun. Now, I'm going to ask any of you, do you know if this is the gun that was used on the set of the movie called Rust that Alec Baldwin was was the executive producer and and uh I believe the one of the actors he was one of the actors he was the executive producer I'm not sure if he was the director I don't believe he was no he was not now that I think of it he was the executive producer and he was the um an actor now we do not know what kind of gun that was we don't know one of, if it was a 45 caliber or an older weapon Okay, this gun was uh, really uh, well documented in the movie uh, Back to the Future, the third movie that was back in the West. It was well documented because this gun revolutionized uh, the Western um, culture and it became the gun of the fast draw. This is what you call a fast draw 45, okay? Now, if you don't know what kind of gun was actually you, caused the killing in that in that uh, case, then you don't know any facts. Okay, all I did was point out that there are a lot of disputed facts in this case. It's a legal case. Lawyers know how complicated this can be. All I did was ask for prayer for Mr. Baldwin and his family. He has a very large family. This is a devastating accusation against anyone, let alone a public figure or an actor. Now, all I did was ask for prayer. That's all I did. If you don't want to pray for him, you don't like him, hey, that's okay. But he's a human being. He has a beautiful wife and he has many children. He has many friends. He has a huge career. Some of you don't like his politics. Um, I'm not talking about politics here. We're talking about a man being accused of a crime that he may be innocent of. Okay, so please, if you don't know what kind of gun was actually used in that, in that scene that caused the accident and the, and the killing, then you don't know anything. You don't know the basic facts and you can't argue the law. That's all I'm saying. Several of you got annoyed with me. I'm a lawyer. I'm a licensed lawyer, folks. Okay, I'm not going to argue with people who are not licensed lawyers and have never done cases like this. I'm not going to argue with you. And I didn't intend to have bring it up as a legal problem. I intended only to point out that this guy needs prayer. That's all I asked for. Okay, so I'm asking again for prayer for Mr. Baldwin. Okay, thank you, Alec Baldwin. Thank you.